Welcome back to Cheddar Business, everyone. Well, with the fire extinguished, officials in Paris are assessing the damage done to its iconic Notre Dame Cathedral. The spire and roof burned and collapsed yesterday, but early reports say most of the main structure was saved. What's it going to take to rebuild this cathedral, which has stood in the heart of the city for over 850 years? Uh, joining us now for more on this is Kobe Karp, founder and principal of Kobe Karp Architecture and Interior Design. Kobe, it's great to have you with us. Um, many of us mm -hmm. watched these devastating images and videos unfold yesterday. How significant is the structural damage that we know of thus far? Structural damage for the roof um, is substantial. The structural damage to the foundation and to the masonry walls seems to be pretty much intact, which is very, very good news because it will allow us to come back and refurbish and rebuild the structure as it was originally um, designed and is originally is in place. And that's very, very good news on, on the long run as it will take quite a bit of time to restore and rebuild the structure. Much of the building, of course, is built with stone. Early reports indicate that uh, there are uh, uh, officials who are now, at this point, uh, trying to assess what type of damage potentially has been done to the structural integrity of that stone. Give us an idea of the effect that fire can have on a material like this. The fire here specifically um, took down the roof structure as it is uh, timbers, which are hundreds of years old, and they've been very, very dry. Um, you can imagine kiln dried in an oven. And they've been there for hundreds of years. And when the fire came immediately at the center of the cross-shaped plan, it started to spread in all four directions at the same time, which led to the structural failure of the roof structure itself, which is the wood, down uh, to below. Um, what we will do now is we will come back to the masonry, make sure that the masonry structure on the walls um, is uh, still uh, stable, um, reinforce it as we need, and come back and restructure it with a new wood structure to bring it back to the way it was originally designed. And hopefully at the same time, I'll be able to bring it up to date with some uh, fire uh, suppression, suppression uh, fire uh, uh, sprinkler system or alarm to uh, hopefully never have this event um, ever happen again. The iconic bell towers that we're showing there, they were saved uh, in this fire, but it took firefighters, 500 firefighters, uh, 12 hours to officially extinguish uh, the entire blaze that engulfed, uh, of, of course, the Notre Dame Cathedral just yesterday. Um, Kobe, what is it going to take from you know, a monetary perspective um, and also a timeline to, to, to rebuild this? From a monetary perspective, it's really hard to measure at this point. It takes hundreds of millions of dollars to um, reproduce this glorious sculptural structure, um, which is a piece of art that has been in existence for hundreds of years and has been the focus point for the community, uh, for Paris, and for the whole world. This is a very, very unique sculpture, um, a piece of architecture which people have enjoyed and have visited both from the outside and the inside. It's a very inspiring piece of architecture. It will take hundreds of millions of dollars to put it back together, and it will take decades um, to put it back. I would not uh, see this uh, being less than uh, 10 years to complete the work and the detail and the amount of work that you have to come back and really do this correctly and, and, and professionally. This is a tedious job. It's a very meticulous job. It will take a lot of time to go back into the information that we do have about the church, about the relics, about the design of the floors, of the walls, of the ceilings. There's a lot of details here that have to be rebuilt, put back together. And not only that, it will probably have to be put back together to meet the standards of today for life safety um, and to meet the, the, the relationship of the people who go through the space on a daily basis. Thousands and millions of people have had the pleasure of enjoying the space, and we want these people to come back. And once it, com once it comes back, it has to come back to meet the standards, the life safety, the, and, 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 and the basic services that we do provide in the building today so that this event never, 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 ever happens. Yeah, uh, 30,000 people a day, 13 million people a year. Kobe, moving forward, what changes have to be made uh, to, to this structure, to historic structures all over the world in order to ensure that something like this never happens again? That's the most important point. Um, we have to take steps now to bring it back and rebuild it uh, correctly and the way it was the day before the fire. And at the same time, Take the time 
and bring it back to the life safety of the fire suppression for the sprinkler systems and the fire alarms that we do have today. We have great levels of abilities to provide protection for the structure and for the people, life and safety, in perpetuity for the structure. Um, it will come back. The main concern really is, is what are the structures in Paris and or other cities around the world that are in this type of jeopardy that can happen so quickly and so immediately and change the way we perceive our architecture and our history, which has been in existence for hundreds and thousands of years throughout the world. Kobe, already uh, less than 24 hours later, $678 million uh, pledged to restore, uh, renovate, rebuild this iconic cathedral uh, in Paris. Is that enough money to do it, $678 billion? It's, it's a great prelude to start. Um, we do historical preservation and restoration throughout the world. Uh, we have just done one, a great one, in, 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 in a structure that's 100 years old in that. Surfside, it, it this is just the beginning. These numbers that we are thinking about right now are just the beginning. It will take years, and it'll take a substantial amount of sum of money to refurbish and refix and rebuild, and basically resurrect this gorgeous, gorgeous piece of architecture and bring it back to life. This is a sculptural piece with wonderful spaces, both inside and outside. That when it comes back, will be back the magnet in Paris that it has always been. For as long as we've been around. I, I, I'm an architect. I was a student in 1986 in Paris, and my very first sketch in the sketchbook, actually on March 25th, 1986, was of the flying buttresses of this beautiful cathedral. Uh, I'd like to end this on an optimistic note. Kobe Karp, uh, founder and principal of Kobe Karp Architecture and Interior Design, thank you so much for joining us on mm -hmm. Cheddar today.